Guys, welcome back to the channel. S here from SNA's Organite Creations. And what we're going to be doing here is with this LM4 Experimental Life Energy Meter, um, we're going to be testing crystals. Now, I've already had a play with this, and I've gone ahead and actually put them in order. So from highest to lowest, okay? So you'll get to see this as I do it. Um, stick around if you want to see that. So this here is actually set at 100%, okay, times 100 so it's actually very sensitive, as you can see, as I approach just this back one, for example. You know, it goes off the chain. I'm nowhere near it. This is what I'm doing. And it's maxing out. You see that? It's bouncing. So as we back away, we have to back away a little bit. And you can see that it is on zero. Okay. So I can tell you now that these first two, so this is a big hunk of amethyst. It is quite a bigger piece. And like organite, so the bigger, the more energy about it. This is a big solar piece of rose quartz wand. It's quite heavy and it's heavier than this. This is just quartz crystal. Now we've got selenite, piece of fluorite and calcite. Okay, so these first two up top, they actually max this machine out. All right, they go up to 100 and, and beyond. But uh, I'll just show you that. So this is just your amethyst. I'll place it on here. We'll take a step back and I'll zoom in so you can see the needle. So you can see how it's maxed out and it's gone past 100%. Now the rose quartz is exactly the same. So I'll chuck that on there, but just to show you, okay? Okay, it's on there, we'll back up, zoom in on it. As you can see, the needle is past that 100%, okay? So now what we're gonna do, now it gets interesting because now you can see the differences with uh, certain crystals. So this is just a nice piece of quartz that I have. So we're gonna place that directly on there. Step back. Now you get start to get into the measurements where we can actually see the differences. So what does that say? So it's around 80. All right, so bang on 80. Now we will change it up. Oops, I'm still zoomed in. Hold up. All right, now we'll go for some selenite. This is just a nice selenite stick I've got here. Put it straight in the middle there. We'll step back. So the clear quartz was 80. Now this here is about 72. 72, I would say, for that. Now I've got a piece of fluorite. All right, so put that on there. Step back. So that's around 62, 63. Yeah, I'd say 63. So as you can see, we are going down because I've had a play with it. But this is just to show you guys and to anyone who's interested in um, uh, energies and the crystals or the life force energy, because they all give off their own frequency, their own vibration, their own you know, like life force energy. So this is like, this is a piece of calcite here. So what we're gonna do is place that right in the center on that as well, like that. Step back, zoom in. And as you can see, if I hold it steady enough, it's around say 58, okay? So it's all in order, you get to see the strengths. Going from the calcite, the fluorite, selenite, and up are your strongest ones, okay? So yeah, just a quick one. Now, the first three here are definitely uh, in the quartz family. They're all quartz, so clear quartz, you've got rose quartz, and amethyst is a type of quartz as well. All right, so this is just a massive chunk of it, and it's not terminated or anything like that, nothing, you know, no pointed things about it, but the energy signature, it maxes out, you know? Um, and as you can see, this is just crazy. All right, guys, that's it. Just a quick video on um, the energy signatures or the energy that these crystals put out influencing this um, life meter here. And uh, that is it. And stay tuned for more videos. And thanks for watching.